Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Restomod Daisy, with uh, yet another review of a Restomod Daisy BB gun. This is a uh, Model 1938 Red Rider. Uh, it's a, uh, we've done quite a few of these. Uh, this is a an older gun. It's got the high pivot lever. As we'll see here, that screw up there by the trigger guard indicates that this is a high pivot gun, not a low pivot gun. So it's a post-58. Uh, it still sports its factory trigger, factory trigger spring. Uh, what we've done with the gun is put a modified Monte Carlo on it. It's a uh, traditional glue-up stock of the style we normally do. You can see the uh, seam line right there. But what we've done is elevated the comb and carved out a pretty generous cheek piece. That'll set your alignment up for the rear sight and front sight. Uh, the gun's been stripped of its paint and fire blue. And we'll get to see if we can get a close-up of the logo here. If I can get my camera to focus. There we go. Daisy 1938. Red Rider Carbine. BB gun. And it's a gun because, unlike a rifle, it doesn't have a rifle barrel. All it has is a smooth bore shot tube. This particular gun is equipped with a um, fiddleback maple full-length forearm with a step. It's kind of a neat look. Not that the gun has a ramrod or anything, but uh, it's a step-down look. It tapers to the end of the barrel. This does have a gravity feed, uh, 600 shot shot tube in it. The gun's got fair velocity, it's not uh, super speedy, but it does hit fairly well. Your shoulder as well. Weighs in at around three and a half pounds, so about a pound more than a stock Red Rider would because of the stocks. Uh, the maple is a little bit more dense than the factory poplar, and of course there's more wood, so that ends up making the gun weigh just a touch more. Not a bad example, not a tremendously great example, but it's a Resto Mod all the way through. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.